God's intention for your lives in Christ Jesus? Will you listen to her innermost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care for her, and stand by her faithfully in sickness and in health, and preferring her above all others, accept full responsibility for her necessity as long as you both shall live? Y'all don't have to look at me during this, y'all can just need to hold hands if you want to. Right. Caitlin, will you have Jacob to be your lawfully wedded husband? To live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love according to God's intention for your lives together in Christ Jesus? Will you listen to his innermost thoughts and be considerate and tender in your care for him and stand by him faithfully in sickness and in health and preferring him above all others? preferring him above all others, except for responsibility for him and every necessity for as long as you go to him. Amen. Amen. Yes, I knew that. Sorry. <laughs> I, Jacob, I, Jacob, take thee, Caitlin, to be my wonderful and wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, regardless of finances, regardless of health, regardless of whatever may come our way, to love and to cherish, to be the husband God called me to be. So death to depart. Okay, we're about Jacob. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, just repeat it. And then remember, you might have to live this out because you're about. <laughs> All right, I, Caitlin. I, Caitlin. Take thee, Jacob. Take thee, Jacob. To be my wonderful. To be my wonderful. And wedded husband. And wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. Regardless of finances, regardless of health, regardless of whatever may come our way, regardless of whatever may come our way, to love and to cherish, to be the wife God called me to be, to be the wife God called me to be, till death do we part. Till death do we part. I give them up. Y'all can clap and cheer. It's okay. All right. All right. All right. Do we have the rings? All right. So when the ring is placed on the hand. It is a sign that you are forever in covenant with the one you have chosen to give direct access to your heart. No one can replace it. Jacob, you have placed the ring on the, your bride to be, on your bride, your wife to be. And as you do that, say, Caitlin, Caitlin, I give you this ring, give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. Yes. As you place the ring on Jacob's finger, say, Jacob. Jacob. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. For as much as Jacob and Caitlin have pledged together, each their fidelity and love in the sight of God and you witnesses, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce them to be husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and whom therefore God hath joined together, let no, no man, man take apart. Jacob, let me kiss your brother. Aww. Aww. Yay! So, with the great privilege and honor, I'm the first one to announce Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Fenton. Aww. Aww. Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right.